Hey guys, welcome to AppleDiaries.com. Welcome to my Heal Thyself channel. My name's Maria. This is where I discuss health, detoxification, and how to heal thyself. Today I've got a little bit of a controversial topic um, that I wanted to discuss and get it off my chest in a sense because there's aspects of it that really bother me. So I, I guess what triggered uh, me making this video was a while ago, I watched a video by Fully Raw Christina where she was apologizing for a lot of the products. Um, she had a few products in her closet that were not vegan. And they were from many, many years ago. I think even before she was vegan or maybe somebody had gifted her uh, one of the products. Anyway, she was being attacked by vegans. Now here's a beautiful soul who is promoting raw foods and and no exploitation of animals and you know and, and she's helped probably thousands and thousands of people uh, turn their lives around and eat healthier and to minimize or discon discontinue eating animals I mean that's huge but yet she gets attacked by people who are on the same side who um, because you know she may have had a few items that had animal products in them. Now, we live in an imperfect world, and this is what I wanted to get off my chest, was about 10 years ago, I guess you could say, before I was vegan, before I was fruitarian, I purchased uh, a big black leather couch. I purchased Uggs, which have uh, sheepskin in them. I was given a wallet that's made of leather. Leather. I was given a few pairs of slippers that contain animal skins. You know. Now I'm a fairly frugal person. Like, if I have something, I generally want to wear it until it wears out. Um, so my question here is, if you have products in your closet, as I do that contain animal products, you know, animal skins, animal fur. I have a, I have a jacket um, that I purchased 10 years ago. It's still like new. Um, I don't wear it that often, but, and I don't go sporting it around like I'm proud of it, but I will wear it around my place. I will wear it outside because what are you supposed to do? Give it away? Okay, so now there's other people wearing these dead animal products, right? So what are you supposed to do? Throw it out? Well, that's kind of wasteful. And then what? Go buy more stuff? Well, really, like, then that's quite taxing on... That's overconsumption. Why bother? I have these Uggs that are over 10 years old. These are over 10 years old. And they contain sheepskin. But I wear them around the house, and I'm going to continue to wear them until they've worn out. Because... I'm not going to give them away. I spent good money on them. I'm fully aware now. I mean, I would never buy anything that contains feathers or fur or skins or, you know, like I'm full out not into that anymore. I've been solid six going on seven years of full out, you know, well, I don't even like to refer to be myself as a vegan all the time. It's more, I like to say fruit based diet because well, I won't get fully into it, but the vegan movement's being stirred in a direction that is not really in line with what it truly means to be vegan. I mean, vegan is about knowledge. Vegan's about doing the least amount of harm possible. It's not about attacking people if they're not perfect. I mean, so what am I supposed to do? I've got... So I was off grid for a couple of years. These couches I bought like 10 years ago went into storage for like... Uh, it was like four years they were in storage and I got them out two years ago. I wasn't going to go buy a new couch. I mean, I'm not made of money and I'm not a wasteful person. So in my house right now, I have a big black leather couch. And every time I sit on it, you know, I, I feel bad. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I, it's a reminder of my past. But until that couch wears out and it's time to really like put it in the landfill or wherever it's gonna go I mean 
I don't want to give it to somebody else to be proud of. I'm not proud of it, but <laughs> it's actually prevented me from making videos in the past in my living room because I had thought about that and I and how fully raw Christina got so attacked and you know and then you'd have to explain yourself but that's why I just wanted to put it out here I have products that contain animal products in them and they're from my past I mean these are old they're like over seven years old all this stuff because I haven't bought any new uh, you know anything but the thing is my my feather jacket I'm gonna wear it until it you know but I, I don't go out sporting it around like um, I'm not gonna wear it down the street and you know put on a fashion show with it or anything it's like now I'm ashamed of these products but yet I want to use them and get the use out of them because I figure that that's like respect of I mean the animals already had to go through pain or hardship or, or die for these products I mean the least I can do is be conscious be aware never do it again and use these products until they're garbage right so and things last a long time for me and so and I have stuff in my closet from high school and that's over 20 years ago you know so I'm just saying that I don't really know what vegans expect other new vegans to do. I'm curious, really. Do they expect them to just give it away? Do they expect them to throw it out? Do they expect them to use it until it's... I'd be curious to hear from other vegans, really, because my perspective is to just, you know, use it and never do it again. So that's my two cents. I just had to get that off my chest in case I ever do make a video and my big black leather couch has to be there. I can explain that that couch is like 10 years old and I had a life before I was vegan fruitarian, a life that, you know, where I wasn't awake, I was quite sleepy and quite asleep on many topics, many subjects. And yes, I, I bought uh, and was gifted products that have animal products in them. Okay, got off my chest, feel better now. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe so I can be inspired to make more videos and happy healing everyone.